I'm excited to explore the intricate world of period cramps with you today. Period cramps, or dysmenorrhea, are caused by rhythmic contractions of the uterus during menstruation. The physiological process behind them is complex and highly coordinated. We'll explore the fascinating anatomy, physiology, and pain science behind this monthly experience. The uterus is composed of three primary layers. The outer serosa protects the organ, while the middle myometrium is responsible for those powerful contractions. The inner lining, the endometrium, plays a crucial role in our story. The endometrium is fed by spiral arteries, unique blood vessels designed to support potential placental growth. When pregnancy doesn't occur, they become part of the shedding process. This intricate design, while essential for reproduction, also sets the stage for the discomfort many experience during menstruation. At the end of the menstrual cycle, we see a dramatic shift in hormone levels. Estrogen and progesterone, which have been maintaining the endometrium, suddenly drop. This hormonal withdrawal triggers a cascade of events. The endometrial cells, responding to this change, begin releasing prostaglandins, chemical messengers that initiate uterine muscle contractions. Prostaglandins, particularly PGF2-alpha and PGE2, stimulate the myometrium to contract, helping expel the shedding endometrial tissue. These contractions compress blood vessels, reducing oxygen flow to the uterine tissue. The uterine tissue is rich in nociceptors, specialized nerve endings that detect pain. When these nociceptors are activated by the ischemia and tissue damage from contractions, they send impulses through the pelvic and hypogastric nerves to the spinal cord. From the spinal cord, these pain signals ascend to various parts of the brain, including the thalamus and cortex, where the sensation of pain is processed and interpreted. The brain can also modulate these pain signals, which is why stress, anxiety, or past experiences can influence how we perceive menstrual pain. Inflammatory chemicals can amplify this pain response, explaining why some individuals experience more severe cramps than others. Period cramps result from intricate biological processes designed to maintain reproductive health. Understanding the science behind them helps us appreciate our body's complexity. If you experience severe menstrual pain, consult a healthcare provider. For more information, check the resources in the description. Thanks for exploring the science of menstrual cramps with me.